Hello, today I'm going to show you how to properly set up WinAcme and Mail Enable together. So you have, have self renewing certificates and SSL enabled on your mail server automatically. So you don't have to do anything. Okay? Before we begin, you need to have Mail Enable installed. You need to have appropriate DNS entries set up, the MX record, of course. And you need to have an admin account of the server that you are working. If you don't have that just yet, pause the video and do that, then come back. Okay? It shouldn't last long. Okay, shall we begin? First, we have to make sure that the main that we are using doesn't have anything set up, but that mail still works. And I'm using this check tsl.com slash test receiver. I use this website, which tells me, okay, my server is here, it answers okay, but, <coughs> sorry, it answers okay, but it doesn't have any certificates, it's not secure, it doesn't have TSL, so we have to do that. First things first, we have to prepare the certificate. And the easiest way that I have found out is to actually to create a dummy web server. And then we can easily create a certificate. Let me show you. If I create a new site and call it for instance mail server on a random it's going to be empty, but doesn't matter. But just make sure that the host name is the actually your mail server, your MX record. If it's if it's written here like SMTP dot uh, dot something or uh, webmail dot something or whatever, make sure just to copy this because this is your MX record that is telling us okay this is where your mail server is located. Okay, copy that, paste it under host name, and click OK. And now we have a dummy mail server set up with nothing. Now, we need to ena uh, enable the ability to export the certificate, and we do that from WinAcme. Since we haven't generated any certificate just yet, we can go to the our WinAcme and our settings. We can open it with Notepad or whatever. And we are going to find the private key export We're going to find this, this line, private key exportable, and we're going to set it to true. Because we need to export and re-import the same certificate. Okay. Once that's done, we can open WinACME. And just create a, a very simple certificate for website. So we're going to say mail server, that's on one. We're going to do all binding, so press say, say yes. And we wait. And that's it. We already have the certificate set up. We can go ahead and check it. If I go under the web server and refresh, I actually got two because uh, I was testing something. So let me just quickly check which one is which. Yeah, we can we can drop both and recreate if that's the case. So just make sure that you have a single certificate under web hosting. Okay? So if you add a certificate and you view computer certificates, make sure that under web hosting certificates you only have one mail certificate. If you have multiple like I did, which is actually a nice example. If you have multiple, delete everything and recreate it. We can now go to the manage renewals. We can pick one. It's R to recreate it. And it's probably going to use it on cache. There's no issues there. You ain't gonna request another certificate. That is gonna be just fine. It already is, is here. So, let's refresh. Okay, now we have mail certificate set up. Let's now go to the 
uh, to create our script that will copy the certificate into appropriate path because mail enable requires us that we have either a wildcard certificate or that we have a personal certificate but with WinACME we get uh, something called a web server and if we don't use that we will have to use uh, DNS entry for validation and that gets really complex and we don't have time for that so if you view our certificates so the only thing that we need to do now is from copy this certificate into personal okay and I have a script written which I will going to uh, share with you in the description so go ahead and copy the script the only thing that you need to do is you see this that says mail dot something dot something leave the cn equals just mail dot something dot something change this line and, uh, you will you will have to write the certificate name so that this name right here is exactly as this okay once that's done go ahead and save the script close it if you, if you already set up mail enable you set the certificate to be exportable you add the certificate to your temporary web server now we can actually go ahead and run the script to just check if everything's working and because we need that script okay let's just quickly uh, we go ahead once more check if everything's all right so under web hosting we should have our singular mail and under personal we should have none okay let's go ahead and run the script now you can do shift and right click then open powershell just type cert press tab enter and now we wait okay it did a lot of stuff, but we don't care. We can now close everything. Now, if you did everything correctly, you changed the name, you didn't get any errors, it should automatically stop and start mail enable for you. So if we now go to the personal and we refresh, we can actually see our certificate here. So this part was done correctly. Everything works. Okay. Let's now go to the mail enable to <clears throat> install the certificate. We will go under servers, then localhost, right click properties. And under SSL, we should have our mail dot something or something. Okay. Click OK and you are done. <clears throat> the only thing that I'm going to do with this server, because we use SMTP here, I'm going to go to the SMTP. We're going to go to the properties. And just make sure that, uh, uh, let me just quickly check the info before I say something. Okay, let's well, just uh, enable SSL here on the port 587. And that should be, it. we click on OK, we click on OK. It's going to say that we need a restart, and then that's what we're going to do. Right click stop. Right click start. And if we've done everything as we should, now when we do the same test again, we should have the proper SSL installed now. But the TSL and the certs still failed. Yes, because we haven't enabled the TSL just yet. So then let's go to the properties and quickly enable TLS. Uh, if I, I can't actually recall correctly so uh, send using TLS is enabled listen request going to authenticate the result of authentication did I forgot something I don't think so yeah sometimes I'm just blind and we have this inbound TLS we have to check this under inbound because that's the TLS we need, hopefully. And now this site should actually properly run the test. Uh, 
and when we see it now, now it answers OK, connects OK, hello is OK, TLS is OK, certificate is also OK, it's secure, and it's from a trusted host now. So that's done. Now the only thing we need is to actually make sure our script uh, starts every couple of days to regenerate the certificate. Okay? Because I've done everything in the script, we only need to create a scheduled task. And that's where we need the admin account. So let's close the mail enable. That's done. And let's create a new schedule. It's going to be pretty simple. So go to your library and create a basic task. Call it maybe mail server SSL uh, refresh or something. It's going to be run daily. Every seven days, maybe, or something, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, every day. And let's pick, uh, for instance, every day at 3 a.m. or something, when the server is not running. Okay. This is going to be down for a minute or so. It's, it's not a big deal, but every seven days should be fine. So let's start a program. Let's type in PowerShell. And... In the arguments, we have to add the name or the location of the script. Mine is under C and it's called certcopy.ps1. It has that extension. Okay. So if you copy it into C, like I did, just type, like, type in this. So C certcopy.ps1. Okay. Click on next. Now click this open the prompt properties dialog because we need to finally set up a uh, uh, this run with the highest, highest privileges. So we make sure that the script has admin rights to export and re-import the certificate. Okay. Click on OK. And that should be it. Let us just test it once more to make sure everything works fine. We can right click and run. If we don't see anything red, then we mean, it means everything's working correctly. It should stop the mail enable, re-import and restart the service automatically, which it is doing right now. And that's it. That's pretty much it. No fuss, very easy to do. So hopefully I managed to help somebody. Uh, grab the script from the description. Write in the comments if you managed to make it work. Uh, also make sure that you have DNS entries correctly set up before we even begin, as I already said, because if you don't have mail enable and DNS set up to begin with, uh, it's going to fail no matter what you do. Okay, that should be then. Thank you for wa for watching. Write in the comments if this works for you, and I'll see you again soon.